Hi everybody! This time we are going to integrate sine squared of 1 third x. For this integration, we need to know double angle identity for sine squared of x. Double angle identity for sine squared of x is 1 half times 1 minus cosine of 2x. So whatever the angle is here, we are doubling it. We are multiplying it by 2. So we are going to rewrite sine squared in terms of double angle identity. So it's going to be 1 half, which we can pull to the front of integral sine, 1 minus cosine of, we're going to multiply this angle by 2, which is going to be 2 third x dx. Now we know how to integrate each piece one by one. So we have 1 half in front. Antiderivative of 1 with respect to x is x. And we are going to integrate cosine of 2 third x. We can apply this shortcut formula. So it's going to be 1 over a sine ax. So a is the coefficient in, in front of the x. So 1 over 2 over 3 will be 3 over 2. The fraction will flip. flip. And sine the angle will not change to third x plus c. Or you can use u substitution. Let me show that too. Integral of cosine of two third x dx. Let u be equal to two third x. Then the u will be the derivative of this, which is two third dx. And if you solve for dx here, multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction, which is 3 over 2. So it's going to be 3 over 2 du. Now let's write everything in terms of u. So cosine of u, instead of dx, we're going to write 3 over 2 du. You can write 3 over 2 in front of integral sign and leave du here. Now we know the antiderivative of cosine is positive sine. So 3 over 2 sine of u plus c. And you can bring u back, which is going to be 3 over 2 sine of u was 2 over 3x plus c. And this is exactly what we did here, exactly the same components. So you can apply this shortcut formula very fast by heart. And don't forget that antiderivative of cosine is positive sine. If you go to counterclockwise, you get the antiderivative of each trigonometric functions. If you go to clockwise, you get the derivatives of each trigonometric functions. Now we are going to distribute one half inside of the parentheses. So 1 half times x is 1 half x and 1 half times 3 over 2 is 3 over 4 sine of 2 third x plus c. This is our final answer. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video.